Alright, we're continuing where we left off, and hopefully we won't have any problems. I am not sure exactly what I'm going to be doing, but I figure he did mention a jail, so let's try to find the jail. Okay, jail. Let's see, do I have a map or anything? Let's see. Nope, nothing out of the ordinary here. I was kind of hoping, but oh well. Well, obviously that's not the right way. So... I really do not have a clue where I'm going. I just figure if I keep walking, eventually I'll run into something of value. So far, doesn't seem to be the case, but you never know. Why are they both looking like chameleons instead of one commando and one chameleon? Or, actually that doesn't even look like a chameleon, does it? Or maybe it does, I don't know. Well, this doesn't look like I... Hmm. Well, there's my barracks. I guess I can go back there and see what it looks like now, if it looks any better. I doubt it, though. I really wish there was a way to set the uh, game to have the settings by default.
Gotta find that place wherever I'm going. Okay, I'm gonna go in combat this time. I have ignored this for a while enough. scuffle we got Russ in his tech and he got 398 sea bills out of it that was worth it all in all could be worse I'm just hoping if I follow the water line, I'll eventually find what I'm looking for. Probably it's not going to be that easy, though. It never usually is. Seriously, why would one guy come up against two mechs? Okay, it looks like... what's this? I think I overshot something, by the looks of it. Great, I have to go back. Not sure what I overshot, but I overshot something. Yeah, it's not the same place that I... okay, whoops. it was it okay here we go I found whatever I found I'm not sure what I found but I found something let's take care of this mech first though Okay, now, what do I have to do, and what am I exactly at? I don't have no clue. Oh, I'm at a jail. 
Okay, this must be the place. Now, here we go. You've entered the visitor's section of the Pacifica Internment Center. The jail keeper is poring over a magazine, looking reasonably bored. Ask about Rex's friend. You approach the jail keeper and ask him if he has a prisoner here by the name of Rick. He scans his computer, looks up, and asks you what you want to know. You explain that he is your brother and you haven't seen him since the raid. And you were told he was here. You are merely concerned about his safety. The jailkeeper tells you that yes, he's here, and are all the renegade and mech warriors who oppose the Curita invasion force. He then tugs you to a visitor communication cubicle and inserts a key that activates an impenetrable energy barrier between you and the prisoner's chair. After issuing an or hey, where'd it go? Okay, his face is unshaven and his hair is unkempt. The escorting guard shoves him in a not too gently into the chair. You can tell that Rick's attitude is undaunted because he turns and launches a wad of spit at his departing captor. This is not something the guard appreciates. And he makes Rick wipe it off his with his face. The guard then firmly wraps him on the head with the club and then leaves. Rick looks to you somewhat dazed and asks who you are and what you want. You ask him if he has ever heard of the Crescent Hawks. His eyes light up dramatically, and he looks around the room to see who else might be here. When he catches a glimpse of Rex in the shadows, you can see a wave of relief wash over his face. He shows you a hollow card the guard hadn't confiscated. Okay, honestly, how in the world did he keep that? It's pretty big. I'm sure they had to have frisked him a million times over. Seriously. Oh, well. Congratulations, you have found one of the Crescent Hawk agents. His name is Rick, and he will be riding as a passenger in Rick's mech. Nice. Except for he's awfully weak. Which is disappointing, to say the least. I mean, Russ was a better deal than him. Upon seeing the flash of the Crescent Hawk holocard, Rex leaps into action, removing all traces of consciousness from the jailkeeper. <laughs> He gets the, the activation key to you quickly, and you disable the energy barrier. Your new agent wastes no time in leaping to freedom as alarms blare throughout the jail complex. As you all scramble for the front doors and the safety of your mechs, the mech warrior tells you that his mech is one of the ones in the comp impound lot behind the jail. He says that you might be able to get it to re before reinforcements of Kurita arrived. If you don't make it, they'll surely kill you. Do you want to try? Oh, why not? You send the others on ahead, telling them that you are going to try to get the mech as Rex raises howls of protest. A torrent of gunfire sends you all diving to the floor. A band of Curita jail guards is standing at the end of the hall. In the heat of the moment, you assume the responsibility of command, giving orders to the others to hold their position while you get the mech. They agree to start firing at the Curitans while you slip out the back to the impound yard. Okay, here I go. Well, which mech is it? Good question. You quickly scramble aboarding the ladders in the mech, hoping that it will be function when you get to the cockpit. You flip the activation switch but this mech refuses to start. Oh, great. Quickly, you scramble the boarding ladders of the, this mech, hoping that it would get the function. You flip the switch, but this mech refuses to start. Uh-oh. Not good. You quickly scramble to this one. And... And the mech starts up! All right! That was worth it. You use the newly acquired Stinger to intimidate the rest of the guards into hiding under the cover of the Stinger's watchful medium lasers and the rest of your group escapes the jail and gathers around you. Okay, one issue. Aren't mechs usually programmed to one person with a neuro hel helmet? And if Jason's the one doing it, isn't there a bit of a problem? Unless he got to activate... Well, okay, I guess there's activation codes he could go around with. Hmm... Oh well. I'll ignore that discrepancy. Assign pilots and passengers. Uh, let's see here. I want the pilot to be... Let's see, Jason can have the pilot of the chameleon. No, I want him to have the commando. Why? Because he's not as good as 
Rex when it comes to firing. The chameleon is more powerful. So let's put him in the commando. Rex can have the chameleon. Uh, let's see, Rick. Should I put him in the stinger or not? I wish I... I really wish I knew which one of these guys... I wish I could, like, look at them. Well, Russ was generally better all around. Uh, he's not qualified. Okay. That answers my question. Solves the issue completely. Uh, let's have him attach onto the chameleon. And Rick can be on the stinger. So we got no problems now. Sounds good to me. Alright, now I got three mechs. Rick's rather hurt. Now where should I go? Mm, this is the question. Well, the stinger looks pretty basic, to say the least, which is rather disappointing. But I knew it would be anyway. Alright, with that, I'm going to save it, and we'll continue on with the next part after I save it. Take care.